Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. Well actually guys, in the short term uh, analysis, not much that we could add. As you can see on Friday, here we've got just minor candles, it was inside session, and mostly everything that we said on Friday still stands intact. And today in the weekly report we have taken a look at the fundamental background that we have, so we could read it as usual in the report. Um, in general, in two words speaking, um, fundamental background that we have it uh, supports our technical view. The euro currency might drop a lower in the short term perspective for the couple of weeks. And then uh, we have uh, two different scenarios. Actually, not just we have, but common markets. It's, uh, uh, chief analysis of the big banks and big investment companies, they have a different opinion on the, what could happen in the second half of April and the perspective of the few months. So one uh, part of the uh, investors suggest that after that, the bullish tendency on the dollar should gradually uh, is housed and the uh, situation should turn in opposite direction, while others think that the interest rates will keep rising and that will make Fed to change their rhetoric somewhere around the summer. So, but in the, in the short term, we do not need to choose something among these two scenarios because in the perspective of the coming week, they are mostly the same. So, uh, and, and they are mostly support our view, technical view that euro should drop. That's why on the daily chart, we are keep following to our strategy and stand focused on the same 116 target, large ABCD daily pattern with the XOP around this area. It means that while market stands above the 116 and it's just going to it, we intend to sell the rallies. So once we've got some moderate intraday rally, we intend to take the short position in anticipation that market should hit this level. That's in two words what we intend to do. On the intraday charts, the old patches that we discussed stands as well. So you can see this minor reaction has happened on Friday, but it's definitely not uh, the normal reaction on the support that we suggested uh, by two reasons. First of all, X, uh, 1618 extension is not reached yet of the butterfly. Second, you can see the overall upward performance stands in the shape of the flag, which more uh, continuation pattern rather than reversal. And it means that in the beginning of the week when we probably should be prepared for another drop right to the 1740. Hopefully, if indeed market starts bouncing up from here, uh, and we will, we will get the rally to sell. We intend to consider these two levels as potential areas where we could go short. The first is that will be around 1840 probably, uh, and next one is around 1890, 1880, because these levels will drop a bit more as market create the new low. Currently, these levels are based on these lows. Uh, personally, guys, I prefer to use the first level uh, because when the euro keeps going to the downside, usually it shows not significant retracement. And 1840s will be somewhere around the previous lows, which could be retested, and then market could keep going to the downside. But you could use, for instance, gradual position taken. You could take some part of the position here and keep the rest if, for some case, if market will show great retracement around 119 here, and then you could add the, the major bulk of your position right here. But anyway, it will not change the overall approach to the market. It, it's just technical nuances that you could decide by yourself how it's better for you to follow the strategy. So that's what we intend to keep an eye on, uh, on your currency here. Additionally, as we said on fall diaphragm chart, it might be double reap or buy, so you could see the half of the passion stands in place. We have thrust down, close above the 3 by 3 minor retracement market hasn't reached the 30% level. As we suggest, market should drop to 1740. It means that here we will get the new bottom 
and then theoretically we should get fast return closing above the 3x3 again. If this will happen, that will be the background as well for scalp traders. If you trade on hourly chart, long-term time frames, you also could consider taking the very short-term bullish position, long position, uh, right to the resistance that we have specified um, on the chart before. So, that being said, for daily traders, we're watching for a pullback to take the short position. Scalp traders could consider taking the long position with the following two conditions. First, butterfly target has been reached. Second, double repo passion has to be confirmed. So market should create a new top here, a new bottom, and close above the 3 by 3 again. That will be the confirmation of the double repo. In this case, you could try to go along with the targets around resistance that we have here, either 1840 or maybe even to the next level. So that's approximately what we intend to do on the next week.